Hello wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today, good news, I'm going to be doing two videos. After quite some time, I am uh, doing back to back two videos. Uh, this is going to be, first one is going to be a list, second one is going to be an exclusive review. I haven't done, not exclusive, I have not done this review before. Very excited and uh, let me do actually the list first and I want to do it quickly. So first of all, as you can see from title, it's a dating night for summer, you know, summer date nights uh, suggestion. But uh, I'm going to suggest something from my taste, from my experience, what works in our condition, heat and humidity, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Bangladesh, India, this kind of weather, I'm going to be suggesting. But these things can change in your country. You can try absolutely anything. You can uh, try your favorite cologne, whatever you want to wear. You can wear it. There's no such thing as these are the holy grails, okay? I'm just suggesting 10 from my liking some recent by some you know some of my previous fragrances i reviewed them all so check them out uh, and i'll tell you very briefly why i chosen them and these are in order okay <clears throat> so i want to go with only one honorable mention i did not include it in the list because this is my personal favorite this is very much of a 35 to 40 year old uh, plus kind of a scent it's very mature masculine scent but i don't expect people to wear this but Still, I'm suggesting, I'm just going to start with that only one honorable mention, that is YSL Opium Purum, okay? This is the EDT. I never tried the EDP. This is basically a cold weather scent, okay? But some of these fragrances here are going to be also cold weather, but they also work in hot weather. I'll tell you how. This fragrance, there's a vanilla that pops up with that anise note, and it's just so lovely, you know, like the fragrance, it has, I think, some berries, juniper berries or something. I forgot what it was but the fragrance is just absolutely like there's nothing like it it's like a statement of its own so if you're mature like me like my age i'm i'm gonna be 39 this year so if you're around 35 30 plus you can definitely give it a try very sexy very unique and very long lasting juice if, especially if you have it on your uh, neck area and your shirt opium puro honorable mention <clears throat> so uh, remember before i start the list it's just a list and it can change anytime with the next year uh, things will be totally different perhaps but at this current moment these are the, some of the ones i want to show you some unusual ones also okay but i'll start with the most familiar one this fragrance people see i'll be like nope <laughs> because many of you guys are already tired of it but i never get tired of it this is pakura bon one million this is the clubbing king still i mean one of them anyway it's sweet it has amber it has blood orange it has uh, leather it has all the beautiful notes bubblegum sweetness women love this if you're going for a date you know if you're wearing this yeah it's gonna be smelling familiar you're gonna have sweet projection from you but even if you go clubbing or a date you know this fragrance is pretty much i would say a very beautiful juice women really love so this is dedicated to women who love sweet perfumes so men this is still like a very wonderful fragrance i have a big bottle i rock this all year you know one million by pakuraba number 10 Number nine, here we go serious a little bit. From here on, everything is kind of like a, a my taste, okay? So it's kind of a little bit mature, you know? So number nine, I'm going to show you a fragrance getting hard to find. This is Zarius Rouge once again from House of Givenchy. I showed this few days back. This is a very sweet perfume. It has like a kind of like a red spirit sort of feel. If you have a, if you ever tried a absinthe, it, it gives you that sort of feel of absinthe. The absinthe is green. This is more like a red. So it has pimento, something sweetness, some fruitiness, some floral geranium, I'm sure, water something, one of those notes, and sandalwood. So the sandalwood, this fragrance is built for cold weather, you know, so it's similar to David of Hot Water. You can get that as well. Very nice fragrance, but this is upper class. What you get with this, the skin warms up more. This fragrance starts projecting like a beast. So you need heat for this fragrance to work. That's my experience in our condition. So Zarius Rouge by Givenchy is one hidden gem. Definitely try it out. Uh, it's very unique kind of a smell to it, okay? So it's a classic and I would suggest this my number nine. Number eight, and the fragrance that nobody else shows, but this fragrance is just fantastic in hot weather. And this is from House of Carolina Herrera, 212 Sexy Man, okay? So this perfume, uh, it's just sexy here, by the way. This is uh, not very crowd favorite or very well known. The reason being, some people see it smells like Lamal, so it has a dated vibe, and some people see it as a curry vibe. So curry basically people referring to Indian curry, you know, like it's not a pleasant, it's like cooking spices, very spicy. It has a lavender and I think vanilla either one, but it has powdery sort of feel and the fragrance is just beast. This fragrance, I think Nigel Dada and me, we enjoy it a lot. I would suggest this for if you are 30 plus, definitely check it out. 
And if you are tired of Lamol, like being a little bit weak, this fragrance will push double the time Lamol does, okay? So two one to sexy men, it's my number eight. This is an amazing, sexy, mysterious fragrance in the air, okay? So number eight. Number seven, let's go with the familiar. <laughs> and we're talking uh, vampire language, familiars, you know? So hybrids, okay, this is not a hybrid, but this is a more modern version of Aqua di Gio. This is Aqua di Gio Profumo, okay? There are a lot of them out now, Profondo, and you'll be like, why aren't you suggesting Profondo? I do not like Profondo, I'm so sorry. It's just like, it's kind of lost in character, you know, like that fragrance doesn't really have a character. It's like uh, just under same juice, branded under different bottle. This one right here, I did not like it at first that much. I did not get the best performance at first, but when I started using it like seriously, I finished my 75 mil, I started craving for it. There's a spiciness in this that adds to that. Uh, you know, I also have Essenza right there, there. But Essenza works beautiful daytime after the sun goes down. This is a sexy beast. This one gets compliments when the breeze hits you. It projects like beast, okay? If you have uh, sweaty skin, this one will mix with your sweat and make you much more sexier. So that is fantastic. I really love Profumo at nighttime, okay? So I think it's perhaps better for winter, but this perfume you should definitely try out in summer nights. I think it's going to do fantastic, okay? Number seven, Aqua di Gio Profumo by Giorgio Armani. Okay, <clears throat> that is number seven, yeah. Number six is a new entrant. I never shown this before, but I reviewed it like one year back. Finally got the bottle from one of my brothers, and this is what a beauty, what a hidden gem. No one talks about this house. I'm like, I'm gonna do that, you know? I'm just, this is the purpose of doing this. Show some unusual ones. And you should look into these fragrances. They are not supremely expensive, and they are still available, but nobody talks about them, okay? Number six, Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir, okay? This is not the original Pasha. Original Pasha was a lot more uh, animalic and old style. This is 2016 release, I believe. This was brand new when I left for like for good, Malaysia for good. I had 10 ml, 10 ml, about 40 ml samples of it, you know? So I went through, loved it, always wanted a bottle. And look at that bottle, you know, I reviewed it, but I never showed you the bottle. It looks amazing. So this perfume is sweet. Okay, it opens up fruity, kind of like uh, La Nuit de L'Homme Le Parfum, but darker with sweetness, much more strength. It has spices and it starts slowly going to the leather or something a bit darker, spicier. This fragrance opens up like 1 million, but then gets more mature and masculine. This has 8 hours plus push, okay? This one, if you wear, just go two on your neck, this side, this side. Nobody, nobody will smell like you, I can assure you that. Very crowd pleaser, very beautiful. I think I suggest this for younger generation. I think this is their uh, edition for uh, younger generation. You can use it for clubbing as well. But uh, this edition noir by Pasha de Cartier, mm -hmm. definitely check it out, hidden gem. That's why I included it in the list. So now time for the big guns. I included five of my most favorite fragrances here. And I think these will work really wonders, okay? Number five, I go with one of my new bottles. YSLM7 with Absolute. Yes, I also have the vintage the darker bottle um, in case you forgot this one side by side two are my favorite babies so this one is more like a first batch of it but I have here in the newer batch like still this is getting harder to find so this perfume why M7 Oud Absolute has Oud in it and it got some spices and I think it has some uh, vanilla perhaps I forgot exactly what notes are there but what I remember this is a very spicy kind of like a barbershop sort of fragrance which has, which has more spice than oud. So why would I suggest this in the summertime? See, the nighttime, certain fragrances work miraculously, like they would work like mysterious ways. This fragrance, when I wear it for the winter time, I prefer the original bit darker one. This one is a little bit more citrusy, you know, if it makes any sense. And it has a bit more fresher feel to it. It's a little bit like watered down, you know, like the from the M7 Oud Absolute. I call this like a fresher M7 Oud Absolute, okay? So that makes it very nice with the hot weather. Uh, say at night time, it's a bit warm, the weather, humid, humidity is there, but you go in the car, a little bit of air conditioning, then you go a little bit away uh, from the car park to your restaurant or something. So that's a bit warm. Then you go inside the AC room again in the restaurant. That's where this fragrance transforms so beautifully, matches with your skin, gives you this nice little combo of your skin and your fragrance. That's what I think it's lovely about this fragrance. It's a little bit different. Try it out. It's just my suggestion. Try it out. 
M7 with absolutely transparent bottle. Okay, that's number five. Number four, and the fragrance. This is just lovely. Nobody gave it love. I'm gonna give it much more love. Versace Man, the purple bottle. Yes, I'm gonna make some older fragrance happy because this is such a lovely little fragrance. It has lavender, it has tobacco, it has opening like Versace Eau Noir. But the fragrance, it gets sweeter, it gets better over time. Some fragrances just get sexier over time. This is the fragrance. And Versace do not make long lasting perfume that much. This is one of them. Definitely try it out at night time. Breeze going on, a little bit like cloudy, like, you know, overcast condition, summertime. Versace Man, such a sexy statement. There's nothing like it. You can try Versace Dreamer, but this is a lot more up class, okay? Versace Man, the purple bottle. Discontinued, but still can be found at good prices. Number three, number two, number one. Number three, sexy juice. Today is a very cloudy and kind of like breezy uh, night. It's going to be stormy soon. So Pure Heaven is supposed to be a winter baby, you know, I know. But for some reason, our summertime, when it's like getting warmer, sometimes during the evening, I just get such a sexy, uh, like a cherry tobacco feel, and it mixes with that patchouli, like original Amen. But there's just something Cuban, Cuban Havana cigar, something sexy about it. Like imagine like watching Dexter TV serial, and he's going out with Angel, you know, like he's the his Cuban partner. And they're having like a, by the dock or by the beach, some party, you know, like there's gonna be like, Cuban music going on and everything. You're having a cigar, some booze, some partying. This is a fragrance. But if you are having a date in that sort of situation at the night time by the beach, you know, like Malaysian beach at like, like say Kuantan, people from Malaysia, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, or Penang or Langkawi. The, the sand is cold, but the breeze is kind of warm. And then the sea breeze is kind of bringing some salty, uh, you know, like a uh, motion going on. That combo, I think, if you're just gonna get some booze with your date, Pure Heaven, amazing little, it's a niche level juice. I really love Nexus, but this is really good. Pure Heaven, try to get Ethereum Nuclear Number three. Number two, Dolce & Gabbana Purim, okay? Yeah, I told you, it's gonna be an unusual list. This is more mature masculine, but this is kind of like the fragrance, you know, like if you love tobacco, you wanna get into that serious mode, you wanna smell like a, man rather than a lost or confused teenager <clears throat> it can at first be a bit overpowering i understand it. it has mature vibe but once you start understanding the concept of it lemon okay then you go a little bit of lavender then you go tobacco then you get honey and all this combination you know it, it's kind of like not everybody's cup of tea but if you get the german version french version or uh, the sticker version you know italian whatever <clears throat> just do not get the uk version this is gonna last on you like eight hours. Beautiful fragrance. If you keep wearing it, it becomes your sort of like your signature scent and it should ask you one time like, uh, why don't you wear that fragrance that you always wear? This is that fragrance, okay? Dolce & Gabbana, Purong, amazing little fragrance. Just do not buy the UK version. Leads me to number one. And this fragrance is not gonna surprise any of you, okay? This fragrance is so good. This is sexiest juice ever. <laughs> it's just in my world, but I prefer this fragrance from Dior more than anything else. More than anything else, even Dior Fahrenheit doesn't come close. Uh, Usavage doesn't come close. You guys know what I'm gonna show you. Dior Homme Intense, yeah, 2018 bottle or 19 bottle, new formulation, works like a charm, you know. Does last about eight hours. Um, it has that lipsticky iris, okay. It has sweetness, it has very weird smell to it, you know but there's nothing like it you know they try to copy this dna but i haven't found any good clone of this perfume and land with along moment you see this bottle and you know this is like a dating scent this is the sexiest scent you go to a date ends up in a room ends up in a hotel room wherever it is this fragrance does it and nothing else does it better than this in my humble opinion it is my signature scent of all time of all time this is my top favorite so at night time summer time if you're thinking durong durong is a bit weak this one will push you. It has a little bit of leather pops up later, but you get used to it. Trust me, you get used to it. If you, over the years, one to two years, you you always have this perfume in your collection, okay? I speak with so much love, okay? This is what happened with me over the last four or five years, okay? Dior Homme Intense, my number one dating fragrance for summer 2020. That's my list. Time to move on to the second video. That is the full on review. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you all. And do let others know what you feel like it's gonna be a good summer scent for dating scenario.
see you soon bye bye